Let's have a look at and show the detail over here and see why is it useful in Entity Framework application in C Sharp. So here, it's a simple application that basically will insert a few records into your database and it will query the output such as the age over 20 and the name is sorted in ascending order. And here we have a class that basically captures the ID, the name and the age and the city of the student. Notice here the question mark next to the city. This is to enable the city to be no values. So it is optional for the person inputting the data to provide a city. And here you can see we're creating a table, uh, essentially it's DB set is equivalent to a table in a, a database. So you can see we have a student table over here. So let's see if we can update the city of our students to be London. Okay, so as you can see, this is the statement. So all I'm doing is updating on mass city for these students. So if I execute this, then you can see three records were updated. So now if I highlight this and execute this code over here again, and you can see the city is now in London for all the students. So this is where the problem arises. If you are not working in development and you're working on production, whenever this code here runs, it would actually go and delete the records in that table you'll actually delete the table so if i run this code over here and you can see the code has run and if i go back to the database here and execute the query again you'll see the city has become null again so we have lost our changes that we made so what it does is it deletes the table and recreates it with the default data that we seeded here so that's why you should not use ensure the deleted in a production environment and should only be used when you are doing testing on development for in a very sandbox contained environment because sometimes even on development you do need to be able to keep history because of any test cases that may have been keyed into the database.